You guys, it's January, which means we have to do the January book tag. This book tag was created by Jan Agaton, and it's just a bunch of questions about reading books and goals that we have for the year, so it's perfect to start off January with. We've done this tag every single year, and we always have so much fun doing it, so of course we wanted to bring it with us into 2024. We will link Jan's video in the description in case you guys want to watch it, but we're going to go ahead and get started with the questions. We have the questions here, and number one is what was the last and first book that you read last year? The first book I read last year was Carrie Soto is Back by Taylor Jenkins Reid and it was fantastic. The last book I read was All In by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. So it's fitting that my first book for this year was Bad Blood by Jennifer mm -hmm. Lynn Barnes. It just seemed right to end the year and start the year by finishing the Natural series. That Found Family is one of my favorites so it's bittersweet but it was a really good series. I really did enjoy it. First book I read last year was My Year of Rest and Relaxation by Otessa Moshfag. Loved it. It was my first book by her. And then the last book I read last year was Come Closer. It was like a small little horror about a girl getting possessed by a demon. So we really, we really hit all the different genres last year. Question number two is what is your first read this year? I started reading. I didn't even put on Goodreads yet. Zodiac Academy book seven. I think it's Heartless Sky and I mean I just started it. I know that wasn't part of my January TBR but if I can finish that series ASAP I can kind of move on and go into all the other fantasy books I have. So I think that's what I've been trying to do. I didn't realize I already answered this question but my current read so the second book I'm reading for the year is Set on You by Amy Lee. I really wanted to read this book this month so that I can read X's and O's in February because it just seems like the perfect Valentine's, Galentine's kind of book to read. Question number three is to share three of your reading goals this year. So my Goodreads reading goal for this year is 100 books. I got to 96 last year, so I think I could get to 100. Another goal I have is the goal I always have, and that's to read most of my physical TBR books. It's so embarrassing. It's ridiculous the amount of books that are just sitting in front of me. I would never expose myself like this but it is a mess just right here with physical books that I haven't read yet. And then number three, I want to start not necessarily annotating but I want to just like mark just some things down. If anything makes me feel like wow that was like really good really powerful I just want to like underline it. I don't want to like intentionally be looking for things just I know there's sometimes when I'm reading books where I'm like well, that was really good and I just kind of skip past it and then I forget get it and then the question comes of like what's your favorite quote and I have nothing to say I just want to start just marking some things down a little bit for me one of my goals is always to read more of my physical tbr because it's it's ridiculous at this point I also want to prioritize fantasy series that I'm currently in the middle of because I feel like I can't keep starting new series until I finish the ones that I'm already in and then also just like dipping my toe in other genres this year I feel like there's a bunch of stuff that I haven't explored yet so wanting to do that Question number four is share three of your most anticipated titles. Serpent and the Wings of Night by Carissa Broadbent. Of course. I know that one was huge last year and I didn't get around to reading it, but I did buy all of that author's books. And that one I know people say is kind of similar to the feelings that they get while reading Akatar. So I'll be the judge of that. I'm really looking forward to starting her writing. Also, I have always wanted to read it, but this year I've locked it down. I've downloaded it to my Kindle. I know it's going to happen. And it is Manacled by Sin Lin Yu. You guys already know. If you've ever seen Harry Potter, it is a fan fiction that was written about Hermione and Draco, but that is everything to me. And this is like I've heard one of the best ones that they have out there. It's super long, it's super intense, but I've heard that it changes lives. And I know it's going to change mine. So that's definitely one of my most anticipated reads of this year. And if I had to pick one more, I might say the Boys of Tommen series. Just because I have all of those already and I've heard really good things. But again, I've got a lot of stuff to read before I can even get into any of those. Some of the top three that I can think about are Play Along by Liz Tom 40. I don't even think they've released that cover yet, but I'm so ready for that. I also want to read Powerless by Lauren Roberts. And I have to read it before. I think it was June or May because that's when the second book comes out and I know every Everyone is going to be talking about it. And then the third one is Allie Hazelwood's Bride, which is her debut fantasy novel. I will definitely be reading that. I keep thinking about that because I'm like, <laughs> okay, let's see. It's exciting. It is very exciting. Question number five is which goals did you reach or not reach last year? 
My Goodreads goal last year was 80. I got to 96, so I did reach that. That's crazy. That is crazy. Something I know I definitely didn't reach, though, was the same goal I always have, which is reading the physical TBR books. But it's okay, because this year, I think we're going to make me a physical TBR cart so that I can visually see what I need to get done. Mm -hmm. And that is going to change everything. I did also reach my reading goal last year, which was 95. And a goal I didn't reach was to read more classical books. I don't know what happened. I do own a lot of the classical but I just didn't read any of them so hopefully I can incorporate that into this year I did say I want to read more genres hopefully I can get into the classics question number six is are there new releases this year you've heard of that you have no desire to read any Frida McFadden book thank you next no you know what's crazy on my Kindle app the Frida McFadden book co-worker is like downloaded into my library I don't know how I don't know why because I know for a fact it was not me who did that I don't know I didn't love the book that I read by her so I'm just not excited for any of her new releases and she's coming out with a lot which I feel like is part of the problem for me it's gonna be Allie Hazelwood's stem romance oh. that she's coming out with I think I'm just done with the stem romances I get so confused with the stem stuff I don't know mm. what they're talking about <laughs> question number seven is what are some reading habits you want to change this year if any I have to get over not wanting to pick up my bigger books. I'm just always so intimidated by the size. But you know what? I think like every five-star book I've read has been a mm -hmm. thick one. So that's definitely a habit that I need to break this year. Mm -hmm. That's a good one. I want to stop procrastinating reading because I'm always at home. There's so many opportunities where I could be reading and I'm not. And I want to change that. Question number eight is, are there any adaptations you're excited about? We had a whole video going over a lot of the adaptations that are going to be coming out. But some of my favorites. Dune part two, I'm so, so freaking excited for. I loved part one. I did not read the books, but I kind of want to after this. Also, Wicked. It's my favorite musical. Like, I can't wait to see the adaptation. I hope they do it well. Of course, I have to say The Summer I Turned Pretty season three. Oh, I wonder if that's going to be the final season. I don't know. There's only three books. I wonder if they're going to split it into two parts. I think they should. Split it into three parts, honestly. Three parts? <laughs> I mean, I don't want it to end. Yeah. I really enjoy watching that series. Also, it's kind of crazy, <laughs> but I am pretty excited for It Ends With Us. I mean, I just feel like it's going to be a whole event. Everyone's going to be at the movie theaters watching this. All of the girlies who read It Ends With Us. And it's going to be like everyone talking about it like we either all loved it we either all hated it or it's gonna be like beautiful disaster where it was just hilarious <laughs> we don't know what's gonna happen I'm anticipating that day question number nine is what is your favorite bookish memory of last year my favorite bookish memory was starting our literal Bessie's book club last year it's just been so much fun picking a book that we all want to read for a month and then we all sit down and we all talk about it shout out to Molly because Molly is always reading with us every single month it's so much fun. I just anticipate going to see what Molly thinks about every single book. She is really active. I know, I love it. But yeah, it's just been really fun having a book club with you guys. I wrote a couple down. I wrote it in my notes. Going to our first in-person markets, because technically that is bookish. Our Etsy is book-related. And then meeting real-life people who read. It's just so cool. I also wrote meeting one of you guys. We actually met Miracle at Half Price Books. She just happened to be shopping while we were recording a video. So we got to meet one of you guys, which was like, just so cool. There's so many good, fun books bookish memories though that I've had for 2023. The last question is question number 10. Do you have any carryovers from last year that you still plan on finishing? Everything is a carryover from last year. If I didn't get it read, then I want to read it this year. I mean, I guess I could say Zodiac Academy because that is the one that I'm currently working on and prioritizing. I have three books left. If I can get those done, read the new release when it comes out can move on from it and I think I really need that. I could be here all day talking about <laughs> carryovers I have but just to name a few I have the Windy City series, I have the Scythe series, I have the Selection series, I have the Maple Hill series, you have Akatar, Akatar, I have Fourth Wing. Oh my god yeah that was just a few. I'm sure there's plenty more. We're gonna get it done this year though. <laughs> yeah. We're so excited. I feel like a new fresh start, even though it's technically still the same, will give us the right motivation. We'll have a great reading year. I'm wishing that for all of us. Mm -hmm. That was all of the questions. Definitely let us know in the comments your answers to some of these questions. Make sure to go watch Jan's video if you haven't already. We love this tag. It's so much fun and a great way to start off the new year every year. Make sure to join our book club if you haven't already. We are reading Ruthless Vows this month, which is the sequel to Divine Rivals, which we all loved. That link is in the description. Also, make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already and we will see you next time. Oh, I already answered number two. I'm stupid. Maybe you could say what you're reading now and just guess what you would read next. Uh, I mean, you're almost done with it. Which one would you want to read next? Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs>
Oh my god. That's scary. Okay. Ew, I don't like the way my arms look. Linebacker over here. <laughs> Question number four is share three of your most impossible. <laughs> Question number three is share or <laughs> <laughs> Question number four is share most of your most anticipated titles. Three of You said most of your three. You said most of your anticipated titles. Three. 